Hello everyone, this is Atul Rahman. I designed and implemented this keypad module. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about the several features of this keypad module. This is how the keypad module looks like. So in here, you can see there are part numbers given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I am going to start with the part number 1. The part number 1 corresponds to the connector which is named as row and column. You can connect any keypad up to 4 row and 4 columns to this connector. The second part number corresponds to the power input. So there is a pin VCC and there is a pin ground. The third part also corresponds to power input. In this keypad module there are two power input pins. You can use any one of them or you can use both of them. This VCC pin and this VCC pin are internally shorted. And the ground pin of the power 1 connector and the ground pin of the power 2 connector are also internally shorted. Part 4 is the 7th segment display. Once you pre press a button of the keypad module, you will see the corresponding number of the button in this 7th segment display. How the 7th segment display will give output, it is mentioned in this datasheet later. The fifth part is the board break selection, which is actually the most important part. In here, there are options of selecting board rate of 9600 bits per second or 1200 bits per second. At first, I want to tell you all that this keypad module gives out data using standard communication protocol UART. The board rate which you will select is the baud rate of URT communication protocol. There are options of selecting 1200 bits per second baud rate or 9600 9, bits per second baud rate. By default, when these two pins in the baud rate are not connected, that is by default, 9600 bits per second will be selected. If you in short these two pins, that is providing a jumper or connecting a jumper, then the baud rate will be selected as 1200 bits per second. You will have to do this before giving power to this keypad module. Once the power is given to the keypad module, accordingly the baud rate will be selected on the basis of whether jumper is connected or not. So if you want to select 12,000, 1200 bits per second baud rate, then at first connect a jumper and short these two pins of baud rate. Then give power input to the keypad module. And if you keep it as default like this, and then give power input to the keypad module, the keypad module will communicate with other circuit at a baud rate of 9600 bits per second. The part six corresponds to TX out or data pin. Only one pin is needed for giving data out. You can take data out from keypad module using these two pins. You will be required to use only one pin. But if you want, you can also use both the pins. If a user, if an user presses one in the keypad, the corresponding TX out pin will give out data in ASCII characters. That is, for pressing one, it will give out data as 0x31 that is the ascii character later in the data sheet how this data out pin will give value on pressing each keypad button is presented in the data sheet here you can see this is the keypad uh, example keypad there are four rows and four columns if anyone presses button one then the keypad module give data output as 0x31 in hex format which corresponds to the string character 1. This is how on pressing each button of the keypad module, the keypad module will give data out through its TX pin. The last part of the keypad module is the part 7. It is an LED. When power is given input to the keypad module, this LED is turned on. 
now let's go back to the seven segment display how the seven segment display will give value on pressing keypad buttons on pressing keypad button one it will give value of zero that is value of zero means it will display the value zero with that dot sign off so in here in this table it is shown how seven segment display will display values on pressing each button of the keypad also there is an example provided for three rows and three columns before ending this first tutorial i'm going to tell you all one thing that the cause of giving the option to select two borders is that one may need the uft built-in hardware for other purpose also suppose in a circuit if you want to interface this keypad module with that circuit and also that circuit needs to have uft communication uh, with other circuits that is you may need that built-in uft function for other circuits as well in that case you can select the baud rate of 1200 bits per second and you can implement software uart in your code in that way even if the hardware built-in hardware uart is occupied and it is used for other functions you can still interface this keypad module with your circuit 